Brian Michael Bendis and Scott Godlewski unleash the great darkness as the mysterious force attacks the legion of superheroes, kidnapping members and casting them throughout time, and the only way the heroes can beat it is by teaming with the Justice League. Brian Michael Bendis continues the Great Darkness story arc seen at the end of his Legion of Superheroes run, as well as recently in the Justice League Incarnate and Infinite Frontier books, using this first issue to set up the mystery of the darkness and why it seemingly wants specific members of both the Legion and the Justice League. On top of that, the book also is told from the POV of the newest Legion member, the Gold Lantern, who no doubt is tied to the darkness in some way, being that he's the only lantern in existence in the universe right now, so there's this whole light versus dark story beats happening which, which is quite a lot of fun especially with the teasers throughout the book of the possible re-emergence of the Green Lantern Corps should the Gold Lantern prove to be a successful trial run which is what he is. Triplicate Girl also plays an integral role in the mystery and again Bendis does a fantastic job building on what he already established in his previous run with the character and their ability to merge with each other and how having one missing is like a great crisis for this being and it takes a giant mental toll on them and I liked that we got a little bit of drama from that with the team sort of being splinted because of that and I'm intrigued to see what he does with that. Scott Godlewski returns to the Legion with some more brilliantly colourful and chock full pages. Scott had a lot to balance on each page and he makes it work so well giving everything a nice flow and feel and really cool page designs overall. I also really love the look he gave the Great Darkness on the giant splash page as it really sold the scale of this problem as well as just how terrifying something that literally just turns everything to darkness and into a dark void can be. Justice League vs The Legion of Superheroes issue 1 was a great setup to the 6 issue miniseries, laying down the mystery our heroes face in a straightforward way, giving each key member time to shine and leaving on an exciting cliffhanger that gives a chance for a new character to take centre stage. I'm going to give this issue an 8.5 out of 10. Justice League vs Legion of Superheroes issue 1 finds Kala Law, the Gold Lantern, asks why he thinks he was chosen to be the Lantern. The hero knows that that's a question for the elders of Oa, knowing on some level he guessed he's worthy and it's an honour he cherishes. He knows that the Lantern icon has history, which he knows all about and what happened to them and what an opportunity it is to have the Lantern's ideals returned. The Bean asks him if he knows that if things go well for him, they could see an entire Lantern Corps be reinstated. Kala knows that being a lantern has brought so much richness to his life and to help others is a gift but the gold lantern has brought him another amazing gift since now he has a legion of friends. The legion of superheroes arrive to back up their friend against the creature gold lantern faces. They ask Arun if he knows which creature this is, being the hero can change into a myriad of different creatures from all over the galactic but he doesn't recognise it. Luckily Brainiac does, knowing that it's a Garfu from the asteroid belt of Orion 7. Chameleon Boy remembers the scary stories his mother used to tell him about them as Triplicate Girl all knows they easily have this and they are getting too good at this. Saturn Girl tries to calm them down but Triplicate Girl says that they are the Legion and, and Overkill is kind of their theme. Gold Lantern knows that everyone in the Legion sees and feels things differently but that allows them to pull their talents and get to a higher purer truth. The team contain the monster and want to celebrate their win but Triplicate Girl feels something is wrong, panicking and telling themselves all merge back together as one. It's too late as the red triplicate girl is pulled back and disappears into a portal, with the others unable to feel her. The team check to see if anyone else is missing as later on, Brainiac 5 delivers a briefing to the United Planets regarding the Great Darkness, which members of their physical science and psych science have both seen and felt, knowing it to be the promise of darkness and the end of all things. He tells the whole of the United Planets that the dark tremors have begun all over the galactic, but it's unclear if this is something they have done, since they there are mysteries in the universe that they still don't know a lot about. The President asks if Gold Lantern concurs with Brainiac 5's assessment and Kala does as Brainiac 5 wants to put the United Planets on high alert in the hopes that their findings can be shared with others so they can solve this before the darkness overtakes all. Gold Lantern is concerned for Brainiac 5, never seeing him so deregulated and in the face of unanswerable questions, a few of the Legion members are struggling with it all as well. The Daxum representative promises the Legion all of the United Planets resources Sources and wants them to consider their original goals, which Kala knows is the Legion's mission statements since they weren't meant to be fighting
fighting off a great darkness, but ushering in an age of heroes. And if they make a new age of heroes in the face of a crisis, they need to ask themselves, what would the Justice League do? On present day Earth, the Justice League finish up dealing with the Legion of Doom, with Green Arrow thinking that might have been their best moment as the Justice League. Batman wants to clean it all up and head back to the hall as Aquaman asks if, while he's also paying to keep the lights on, that Oliver hire some sort of superhero cleanup crew as well. Oliver knows that if they were getting paid, he would give them all raises as Batman continues to try and hurry the team up. Suddenly, the heroes feel something as a strange force begins to pull Wonder Woman away from them. The power dies down and Diana is fine wondering if anyone else experienced the pull she felt. Soon out of the nearby forest comes Triplicate Girl, the league ready for a fight, but the hero realizes that she's on Earth in the 21st century, telling the team her name is Lerno Durgo. She is a member of the Legion of Superheroes. The hero tells them that she knows John Kent as she falls unconscious, leaving Batman to contact John. In the new Metropolis in the future, the two remaining Triplicate Girls get into an argument since Blue won't let Yellow merge with her since she she isn't ready for that yet. The team calmed them down, knowing that they have been through an incredible loss. They want to know what happens if only two of the triplicate girls merge, learning that in triplicate girls culture, when one of them passes apart from the others, it's an accident or like a natural disaster and they don't know what it is. The women want the team to leave them alone to deal with this themselves as Superman arrives, telling the Legion that he is there to help and that triplicate girl and a few of the others need to come back to the 21st century with him. He asks if Brainiac 5 is around and the Kaluan hologram pops in, asking what's happened. John doesn't know and it's more of a show don't tell problem. Lightning Lass asks if she can come with John as John hugs Triplicate Girl, telling the team that they can all come. Superman teleports the team back to the 21st century, where Wonder Woman welcomes them to the Hall of Justice. John tells them that they don't know exactly what's happening yet, but the Justice League are there to support them. The Red Triplicate reveals herself, telling the others to gird themselves as it's revealed that she has aged at least a hundred cycles, while the others continue to be only 17 years old. Heading inside the hall, the triplicates learn that Red just suddenly got old once she came into this timeline as the rest of the heroes get to know one another, with the Legion knowing all about Oliver Queen and, and what he is set to do, as well as Naomi's future exploits. Flash arrives, hearing of a time travel emergency but finding the party looks to be a recruitment drive. Brainiac 5 explains the darkness outbreak and how it seems that the League suffered one there as well, very similar to the one they suffered in the 31st century. The same wave that took Triplicate Girl against her will and aged her in a split second. Superman wonders if the darkness happening now and in the future is happening at the same time, but Brainiac has run every type of measure he can to try and find an answer, but it still eludes him. Suddenly one of the darkness waves hits again, pulling Diana back again. Gold Lantern tries to help, but suddenly everyone around him is pulled away, and he is left alone in the Hall of Justice. Thank you.